And welcome in everybody to Homer Bryce Stadium for the 2016 spring game for the Stephen F. Austin Lumberjack football team as the Jacks conclude spring practice here in 2016. That first cock pass intended for Liggins. Liggins a game time decision, catches this one, ball knocked free, it's free on the field and picked up by the defense. So the offense would have an explosive play as that was a, about a 20 yard gain there, 22 yards. But the ball knocked out of the hands of Liggins. Defense forces the turnover. So second down and 10 now. Trips to the left side this time. Taylor gives it inside. Amos breaks it outside the 30. Down to about the 25-yard line. Give him 14 on that as they'll mark him down at the 26. Pulling at center with the snap. There's the give to West. He's got a crease left side at the 40, at the 50. Now a foot race, 40. West at the 30, 20. Will they catch him at the 10? Five, Josh West into the end zone. Touchdown for the offensive unit. Josh West, a 79-yard run as he goes off the left side. And the offensive unit on the board. As you see the replay here, West again just off left tackle. And once he got past the first wave, and you can see there it was about a 60-foot dash. West with speed. One of the bright spots there, you see a defender closing. Not sure that would have happened much last year, but Trent Perryman, junior out of Miami, able to close. He gets back to the being under percent. Look out, because this kid's got some big-time talent as he displayed with the long touchdown at TCU. And here's another long touchdown for the Lumberjacks. Zach Cock that time lays it right on the money to Robert Sylvester. But this is going to come back. We've got a flag back in the backfield. It's going to be a hold. Unfortunately, we can't hear Cooper Castleberry, so don't know who it was against, but a hold up front it brings it all back. Takes one off the board to Hunter to pass again. Quickly on the end. That one's gathered in at about the 43, and down inside the 40 goes one of the tight ends. Looks like number 87, Nick Jones. Jones, new to the team this year, transfer junior college transfer at midterm. Zach this time quickly, out to Sylvester. Crosses midfield, could have been a late hit. There's no flag there. Sylvester looked to be down. Single receiver left, Conk looking, pressured. Now throws to a wide open man in the end zone. Touchdown, Robert Sylvester. As the coverage blown back there in the secondary. Conk with just enough time to wait for him to come free and then puts it in his hands. Touchdown for the offensive unit. Beautiful route design there. They said, uh guy on, on the wheel route, and the safety had to choose the seat for the wheel, and he chose the wheel, and uh, Zach Conk makes the right decision, delivers the ball on time, and it's a nice touchdown pass for the Lumberjacks. And as you see, one of the linebackers trailing it from inside Ryan Woods, and he was did not have a chance to get there. I don't have the words that you do, Rob. Oh. This one tipped into the air, picked off the 35-yard line. It'll be blown dead there. But another turnover, second turnover of the afternoon is Zach Conk on that one, had that one tipped into the air, and it ends up. Alizé Ward, Yep. once again. Redshirt freshman out of Dallas, went to Prime Prep Academy. Redshirted a year ago, but the coaches again excited about the upside on him as Alizé Ward comes up with a loose ball, as you see it here. Conk looking left the whole time, and that one off the hands of Nick Jones. And picked off. On the rebound by Alizé Ward. Screen, single receiver left. Conk to pass again. Again with time. Coming back toward Liggins. Has him in the end zone. Touchdown, Justice Liggins. Nice adjustment. Ball in the air, makes a great grab. Great double move before the throw as well. Uh, he put a juke on the cornerback who took it and ran inside. And a nice job completing the pass. And there's another example of Zach. Has thrown the deep ball pretty well here the last couple of weeks, and that one just right on the money. And Justice hauls that one in. Another point on third and eight if they could convert. Taylor to pass. Pressured. Steps up and will be blown down. Back at the 31-yard line. Tied in in front of him. Taylor to pass again, and pressure off the edge. Marlon Walls gets there untouched. I think Matt Williamson's drawing him up on the sideline down there. He's got a finger in the dirt. And you saw Hunter Taylor kind of like, dude. Regain the lead here, third and nine. Zach to pass, looking left, going toward the end zone. Sam at the five, Sam into the end zone, touchdown. Jonathan Sam goes into the air, hauls it in, 
gets into the end zone and the offense regains the lead. So Cotton game. At the controls, looking left, now flushed out of the pocket. Was it blown dead? It must have been. As he had hesitated just a half second too long before getting out of there. Deer went through their struggles early, uh, learning how to separate themselves from college level defenders, but. There's Justice Liggins with a great catch. High in the air at the 40 yard line as he comes down with it complete. As there's a name that you heard a lot last year. And Liggins, one of the more experienced team, Sylvester, with the most plays under their belt. But you see here the pass. Nice hands catch there by Liggins as he holds out. Point game. Offense trying to regain the lead here. West dancing into the hole, bounces it out, keeps it alive. He's at the 10 5 touchdown. Josh West. Went into the stack, bounced out on the other side, and into the end zone for Joshua West. You want to be a college defender? Have fun tackling that. So Josh into the end zone here. 5'10", 194 pound senior out of Angleton. As you see it here, play started left, and he goes into that stack and then bounces it outside. There was nobody else there. And he is into the end zone. Thank you everybody for watching this one. We'll see you September 3rd from Homer Bryce Stadium. This is Rob Myers. He's Peyton Adams. We'll see you in September for the 2016 season opener.